All right, that was Cup Guy here. Hey, you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned and watch this entire video all the way through to the end. I've got some rare stuff on here. First of all, there's a couple different rare Elvis clips. Uh, one is from uh, Oklahoma, 1973, and one is from Atlanta, 1975. You're gonna wanna watch both of those. They don't last long, but it's Elvis leaving the stage. The one in 73, he's got the damn cape on. The one in 75, he's got on a two-piece suit. Also, I do a, an unpackaging, an unboxing of a cool Elvis photo that I got in the mail. Uh, I got a couple days ago. I have not opened it yet, so you guys are gonna see me open that thing up in real time with you guys. And last but not least, stay tuned until the very end of this video because I'm gonna show you a rarely seen photo of Elvis's bathroom and his dressing room from the upstairs portion of Graceland and it's going to be at the end of the video so anyway stay tuned watch this whole video all the way through and it starts now all right coming up right now Elvis Oklahoma City 1973 Elvis is wrapping up the show and he's getting ready to leave and he's got that damn cape on getting ready to do it to it so anyway it's coming up now All right, coming up right now, I'm gonna flip this camera around and do this unpackaging, unboxing, this rare, previously unpublished, unseen photo of Elvis uh, at the Charlotte Coliseum, February 21st, 1977, the night that I saw Elvis Presley in concert. So I'm gonna flip this camera around and open it and let you guys see it just as I'm seeing it. So anyway, it's coming up now. All right, I got this camera flipped around and I'm gonna do this unpackaging, unboxing and show you this rare Elvis photo that I got a couple days ago, all right? I kind of cheated a little bit and I uh, pre-opened it uh, so I could, you know, uh, film it with the camera with one hand and uh, actually open it with the other. But before I show it to you, and it's right here, okay? I went to a record store a couple days ago and I got a couple of cool things. This is not gonna take long. Hank Williams uh, EP, uh, extended play, four songs on it, 45 RPM, Crazy Heart. Songs on here are Baby, uh, We're Really In Love, My Heart Would Know, I Can't Help It, and Crazy Heart, okay? And if I'm not mistaken, I Can't Help It goes, uh, here's my Hank Williams impression. I can't help it if I'm still in love with you. There you go. Now, I'm gonna turn it over. This was made after his uh, death, okay? because it says on the back here, on New Year's Day, 1953, while driving through West Virginia, Hank Williams died of a sudden heart attack. He was 29. Did you people know that Hank Williams, even though he looked old, looked like he was in his damn 40s when he died, but he was only 29? But look, I paid four bucks for that. Anyway, it's in good shape. I'm not gonna bother taking it out. Okay, now hold on. The damn Elvis photo is coming up. All right, now check this out. The Dory or Door label, or Dub, does it say Dub? I think it's Dory. Uh, this is Jan and Dean's first record, first 45 release as Jan and Dean. I think this is the B side. Jeanette, get your hair done. And the other side is Baby Talk. All right, now, uh, without any further delay, I'm gonna show you this Elvis photograph that I got uh, a couple days ago. I just pre-opened it just a few seconds ago, but I'm gonna show it to you. I've got it out of the envelope, okay? Here it is, and let's see, yeah, it's right side up. Are you ready? Now, what I'm gonna show you, Elvis Presley on stage, February 21st, sorry about the damn jet going over, 
Elvis Presley, live on stage, February 21st, 1977. I was there, I was 13 years old, and I've done a bunch of videos on it, so watch them, okay? I was on Elvis' jet, too. Uh, uh, the Lisa Marie, uh, February 19th, 1977. Uh, I did that video a couple weeks ago. Check it out. It's Just look at my previous videos. You'll see it. It's, it's titled, I Was on Elvis Presley's Jet. All right? Anyway, here we go. You ready? Bam. There is Elvis Presley right there, live on stage, February 21st, 1977. I was there. I was 13 years old. And, hey, let me just remind you guys about something, okay? I know there are a lot of Elvis channels, but there are a lot of good Elvis channels, okay? And I, I subscribe to quite a few of them. I watch them. But let me just remind you guys of something, okay? Not many people have a damn Elvis channel, okay, that can say that they saw Elvis Presley in person. You know who I'm talking about, all right? All right, coming up right now, Elvis, Atlanta, Georgia, May 2nd, 1975. Elvis has just finished the show. He's getting ready to walk off the stage, and it's rare he's in that rare two-piece suit. It's coming up now. Okay, coming up right now, I'm going to show you the photograph uh, taken upstairs, Graceland, Elvis's bathroom and dressing room, right off of the Elvis's bedroom. But anyway, I'm going to uh, show it to you right now, and if you look closely, you can see some of the stuff that's on the uh, the countertop there in the bathroom, and you can see his uh, little dressing uh, area and shower and all that stuff. But anyway, it's coming up right now. It's the bathroom where Elvis Presley died. So, once again, you can freeze frame this and examine the things that you see on the counter here, but I'm gonna kinda let you know what I see. That's a bottle of rubbing alcohol. That's a tube of toothpaste. Don't know if it's Colgate or Close Up. I think they still make Close Up. It's red, a kind of a red gel uh, toothpaste that kinda tastes like cinnamon. And it used to be real popular in the 70s. But, I don't know if that's hair gel or some kind of prescription ointment. I see a TV, it looks like a little black and white TV. It could be a monitor to the gates, security monitor. I do see a can of Right Guard, that gold can with the red top. I know that's Right Guard. That was a spray uh, deodorant, aerosol. This looks like uh, not cologne, but aftershave. Kind of a big tacky 70s bottle. Looks like a horn or something. Almost looks like an Avon bottle, but I can't tell. I see two or three bottles here. It kind of reminds you of a Listerine bottle, but this kind of like a prescription bottle also a box of alka-seltzer no doubt that's what that is and i don't know how popular it still is but you used to be able to buy it in a box and each little package had two little round discs and you would uh, dump them in water they would fizzle and they would help settle your stomach and that's a mirror there and like i said you can freeze frame this and those of you that want to analyze what you think you see and leave a comment there's a mirror there with some uh lighting, makeup lighting, or whatever you call those kind of light bulbs where you, you know, dressing room lighting. Um, then we move on over, looks like the thing's carpeted. Here's a walk-in shower, and I see some mosaic type tile. I see a couple towels. You gotta wonder what's that his and her towels for Ginger, Alden, and Elvis, or maybe when this photo was taken, it was uh, Linda Thompson and Elvis, who knows. And then behind there, looks like you go around the corner to a closet, there's a dressing room chair with something sitting on it. And it looks like more curtains possibly, but I can make out those look like shirts hanging up, you know, long sleeve shirts. So there you go. The bathroom where Elvis Presley died.
Hey, I was a couple guys here. Hey, I just want to thank you guys for sticking it through and watching this whole video all the way through. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like button and hit the notification bell. You will be notified whenever I put on a new video. Check out, I got a bunch of shorts, kind of like TikTok stuff, but it's shorts. Check those out. But anyway, I will continue to put on Elvis videos and a bunch of rare Elvis shit. So until next time, this is the Elvis Cup Guy. I'm out of here.